Hello everyone, I hope you all are well today. This is a rice bran oil. Most of the people have doubt the product is fortified or not. But don't worry, please stay with me and you will definitely get the answers. Uh, today I will be discuss about food fortification and fortified foods. My name is Shobhik Bhattacharya, MSc in Food and Nutrition from the University of Gorbango. Food fortification. According to the World Health Organization, the process whereby nutrients are deliberately added in foods in relatively small quantities to maintain or improve the nutritional quality of the diet and the food is called fortified foods. It is estimated that approximately 2 billion people in the world are suffering from micronutrient deficiencies. Micronutrients are essential nutrients and this include vitamins and minerals. They are required in small quantities by the human body for vital functions and for proper growth and development. Micronutrient deficiencies are referred to the lack of these vital nutrients. The most common micronutrient deficiencies are vitamin A deficiency, iron deficiency, anemia and iodine deficiency disorders which affect uh, one third of the world's population and uh, cause a variety of diseases and disabilities. Back to the history of food fortification. When the iodized salt was used in the United States before the World War II, that means the food fortification process is not the latest concept. It was introduced in 1930. Then the niacin has been added to bread in the USA since 1938. And then the vitamin D was added to margarine in Denmark in 1950s. In India, the process was started when the vitamin A and vitamin D were added to Vanaspati in, in 1954. But the process was not so popular. The process was actually started in, in India when most of the Indian people are suffered from goiter due to the iodine deficiencies. Then the salt are fortified with iodine. And now in 2016 food safety and standards authority of India uh, take the responsibility of the food fortification. They are fortified in the right amount of nutrients to the staple foods. Milk, edible oil, salt, rice and wheat flour are the staple foods that fortified with the essential nutrients. Why they are fortified? Because during the cooking, uh, processing and handling and other many other ways, the essential nutrients are lost and the result is micronutrient deficiencies. So they are required the food fortification. Only this food are applied in food fortification because most of the Indian people uh, consume this food. Milk and edible oil are fortified with vitamin A and D. Salt are fortified with iodine and iron. Then rice and wheat flour are fortified with iron, vitamin B12 and folic acid. Vitamin A 
is required to prevent the night blindness vitamin d is required to support strong bone iodine is required for normal growth of thyroid and brain functions iron is required to fight against anemia a vitamin b12 are required for normal functioning of the nervous system and blood formation and folic acid is required for fetal development and blood formation if we purchase the staple foods from the market we just confused is the product is fortified or not so here is the logo of this fortified foods plus f embedded with a square and this is the blue color sign plus means addition f min fortified with the essential nutrients uh, so please check the logo before you purchase any product if we uh, consume the fortified rice that is enriched with iron folic acid and vitamin b12 and the result is you easily get rid from the anemia if you see in the picture a child is climb one place to another and it is possible due to his stronger bones if this is possible only for the fortified milk that is fortified with vitamin a and vitamin d vitamin a is required for the better vision and vitamin d is required for the stronger bones and this type of milks is is required for the prevention of stunting and wasting in the childhood but when you consume insufficient of folic acid that means folic acid is required for the formation of blood and insufficient folic acid the result is the children born with neural tube birth defects such as spina bifida more than 3 lakh entities occur every year globally and when the children consume the fortifying with folic acid then the reduce risk of entities 31% to 78% and the and the mortality rate would be reduced some of the disadvantages of food fortification when you fortify the essential nutrients uh, to the staple foods then the shelf life of fortified milk cereals is reduced regular quality control is essential because during the processing much of the nutrients is lost so regular quality control is essence is essential a prolonged cooking of fortified foods leads to 90% loss of vitamin c fortified commodity is more expensive when you start the food fortification process in the future challenges comes from so the challenge is a create commod create community awareness about benefit of food fortification the private sector governments and international agencies need to make a commitment for investing in food fortification ensure increased availability of fortified foods to the vulnerable groups of population the governments and international agencies should encourage fortification by the way of tax concession or duty rebates regulatory authorities to recommend uniform 
food fortification guidelines to the group countries develop technologies that will produce the futuristic food uh, however adequate surveillance and uh, monitoring system will be needed in the future to evaluate the reach and success of this program last but at not the least if it distribute the fortified foods in the public distribution system icds a yeah, mid day meal then we easily tackle the micronutrient deficiencies and our community is will, our community will be get benefited from this good initiative that's all from my side thank you